Hey y'all, it's Leonice here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial and it is my everyday makeup look. Here we are. Here's my everyday makeup look. And by everyday, I mean on the weekends because Monday through Friday, we ain't here because I don't have time to do this every day of the week. So I'm running late uh, five days out of five, Monday through Friday. So this is my weekend look. Uh, but yes, yeah, stay tuned <laughs> and see how I achieve this look. But before I show you how I achieve this look right here, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. And after you subscribe, make sure you click the little bell button so that you're notified for my future uploads. And if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up so that I can know to continue to do these videos. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> I'm silly today, y'all. All right. All right, so let's get into this makeup tutorial. Do you have a Bojangles where you are? If you do, make sure you try it out. This tea is amazing. But if not, I don't know. Go to the south and find one and try it out. Change your life. Really, the makeup look I'm about to show you is really more like a Saturday going shopping type look or just going to the store or something. Something really quick and really simple. It takes about mm, five minutes, maybe five minutes. No more, no more than 10, but more like five. So first thing I do is make sure that my brows are plucked. These actually need to be plucked. So we're gonna fill them in and then I am going to, once I do my full face, I'm gonna put some concealer on to cover up these little hairs. But let's go ahead and fill my brows in. I normally, if you follow my channel, you know that I use the Oprah Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. It's this little pencil here. It's $13 on the website. Normally it's a coupon code, so if you go on Retail Me Night, you can probably find it. So I like this brow pencil because um, the more that you apply, the darker that it'll get. So that's why it's considered a universal brow pencil. You know, I don't I don't have a video of how I do my brows, but you know, we just go shape them. I really don't like the overly dramatic brows. That's not really my preference for my brows. I like natural. Pretty much everything on me to look very natural. I am going to take a spoolie here. I'm gonna blend this out. I should have brushed them first, but I forgot, so don't mind me. All right. So now my face is nice and shaved. You know, filling in your brows, like your brows can really make a difference on your face. Like, this is the key to either a really beat face or a, a face that's like, yikes. Brows are everything. Like my um, brow lady, she knows when I come in there. Like, girl, don't play with my brows. These are these are my money maker. <laughs> She's like, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna get them right. I'm gonna get them right. But I need to go and get them done because I like to play. Only get them done like once a month. Um, right now I'm taking a brow gel from Ulta. This like sets your hair, your uh, brow hairs in place so they're not all over the place. And yeah, this is what you want in your life if you have hair to go all over the place, like me. And I actually just got this from my friend. Um, she's a makeup artist, her name is Jackie. Uh, her Instagram is Jackie M U A, so J A C K, can't spell. J A C Q U I E M U A. So make sure you follow her. She's one of my friends. We've been friends since middle school, and she's an amazing makeup artist. So if you're in the Raleigh Durham area, make sure you check her out. But even if you're not, just follow her on Instagram because she's amazing. All right, so now we're going to do my eyes, and we're going to start with applying. Um, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. When you're applying eyeshadow, even eyeliner, you wanna apply a good uh, shadow, shadow primer to your lids because that'll keep your uh, shadow from creasing. And depending on uh, the shade that you get, this one is kind of like a um, nude shade. 
it may cover up like if you have veiny eyes or if your lids are kind of dark, it may cover up some of that darkness to make your shadow colors appear the way that you want them to appear on your skin. And for my shadow palette, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. All About Eyes palette. I have used this palette in another one of my tutorials. I don't remember which one. But as I said in that tutorial, yes, this one is missing a color because I dropped it the day I got it. But anyway, the color that I'm gonna use to start with is uh, this brown right here. It's gonna be my transition shade. And which is the color that I'm gonna apply in my crease. And this is gonna give me my eyes a little bit of definition. But it's just a little bit darker than my actual skin tone. All right, so now y'all can see, y'all see the little difference here in me applying this uh, transition shade. All right. Next, I am going to take, I think I wanna take this one here just to keep it natural. Just so I can have, have like a little shimmer on my eyes. We're not trying to be real bold today where we go. And when you're applying shadow to your lid, you just wanna pat it on. You don't wanna swish it back and forth because then you just shear it out. And when you pack it on, then that really gets the pigment in there. Also, when you're doing your shadow, you wanna have two blending brushes. One, to really get to your product, and the second one to go in behind after you've already applied all of your shadows to blend out everything and make sure that everything is in order and in place and that your edges are nice and soft. Because you do not want harsh edges when applying with your shadows on. All right, so now that that's done, I am going to do my favorite thing ever, and I am being so sarcastic because it's actually my least favorite. I'm going to tight line my eyes. I am using the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Blacker. If you tight line, then you know how irritating this process is, but it is so worth it because your lashes, your lash line looks so full at the end, and it's just worth it. All right, so can y'all see a difference? Let's see, let me zoom in. Can y'all see a difference? You might not, well, you can see a little difference. It's harder to see it like on camera, but in person, it's the difference. So let me go ahead and do this eye. All right, so let's get to the face. Now my eyeshadow is done. Normally, when I'm applying eyeshadow, if I'm gonna use something shimmery, then I'm gonna have shadow shields here to catch the shimmer, but today I didn't, thank God. So, which is why this is like my five minute process, because I don't have time for all this. Next up, we're gonna apply the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I just bought this primer, like, last week or the week before. I don't know if I'm really a fan of it yet. It's kind of, it's weird, it's kind of like, it has this weird texture to it. Kind of silicone-y, and it's just, it's not quite my favorite, but, you know, it gets the job done. It just leaves like this, weird residue in my, like I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But, it's all right, it works. I applied that primer all over my face, and then after I applied this primer, I apply a little bit of shadow primer in my smile lines because to help keep my foundation from creasing. And this actually really works. I've noticed over time that putting this shadow primer here, that it'll really keep, because this is specific, specifically for creasing. And yes, it's a little white, but you're not gonna be able to see that once you apply your foundation. But this is just a little nifty trick if you suffer 
from smile lines like I do. Because my makeup will crease in a heartbeat right in this area and I'm sitting here looking like the Joker. Next, I'm going to apply um, the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Pure Gold all over my face. I like to apply this underneath my foundation so that it's not just sitting on top of my foundation. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. I really like this um, illuminator. I don't know if you've tried it or not, but it, it does have a nice little glow to it. Can y'all tell already? Because I feel like a new woman already. This little, this little hair right here, y'all, it is so frustrating. I don't know why this is my life. Everybody has that one thing on them that just never works out. Mine's my eyebrows and this piece of hair. Look at it, it's stupid. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna apply foundation. I am using the Iman Luxury Concealing Foundation in the shade Clay 5. And I love this foundation. It's lightweight and it's really like a perfect match. And like I said, it's a concealing, so if you don't have concealer on hand, I don't know why I just applied it up like that. What is that? Ooh, look at me, y'all. I feel like a new woman. Make sure you get on your neck because want for people to be able to see that difference. Let's get it out of my hair there because that's gross. And you want to get your foundation around your hairline. So you don't want to look like you have a mask on. All right. Hey girl. How you doing? You ready for the day? Almost. <laughs> Such a creep for that laugh, such a creep. All right, so we are done there. Well, I ain't sure I'm good here. All right, now that that is done, let's apply a little bit of concealer. And I am going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande. And I'm going to apply this under my eyes here. I need to get my other two because this one is almost empty. We're gonna apply it on my nose. And then I'm gonna apply some here. And then I'm also gonna apply some where my smile lines are. And then we're gonna blend down some more with this side of my beauty blender. Look at that. This is why beauty blends are amazing. Like, this is one sponge that is worth the money. There is no sponge like this one. Not a one, not one anywhere like this one. When I put concealer, concealer by my brows, I like to just dot around them. And then I'm gonna take the tip of the beauty blender and blend it out. All right, next up on my face, I am going to take the Lorac Tantalizer Bronzer. And I actually don't know, I think this is, the shade is Golden Glow. This is like a sample, it was like $8. But I had this in the full size. I'm just trying to get rid of this one before I go to the full size. So normally on fairer skin, this would be a bronzer and it would really give them like that kind of glowy, glowy look on their cheeks on a fair, on fair skin. But on my skin, this is a highlighter. And that is what I use it for, and it's beautiful. So let's see what we're working with. And I am using the e.l.f. small tapered brush to apply the high my highlighter. I'm gonna apply this on my cheekbone. Okay. 
Y'all, isn't my, this, this birthmark here, y'all see this? This used to, when I was in like middle school, I used to get picked on so much because people said I had long sideburns. But obviously, it's not a sideburn because look here and then look here. That is my birthmark. Odd place to have one. <laughs> Please don't mind these sniffles either that I have because I have a cold. All right, so we did that. Now we are going to apply lip color and I'm going to use the a ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Nevermind. This is a black and purple. And then I'm going to apply Tulips, uh, a ColourPop, I think this is, This is an ultra satin lip by ColourPop. We're gonna apply this here. All right, so we got that applied. Now we're gonna do the finger test to get the lipstick from the inside your lips so that it doesn't get on your teeth during the day because nobody likes that. That's, there's nothing more embarrassing than having lipstick on your teeth. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and go around the edge of my lips here. And then we're gonna take this beauty blender we're gonna blend that out. Today's when I have time, I actually take like a, a very small concealer brush and go around my lips, but. Mm -hmm. And now, last but not least, we are gonna take this eyeshadow, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. That's the eyeshadow, y'all. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. We gonna put some mascara on. That is the last touch for this look. See that difference? Mm. Loose mascara is worth every penny. Even though I haven't, I don't think I've had to buy a full size for this mascara because I can get samples of this all the time in different subscription boxes. So, all right, so that's it for my makeup look today. How do you like it? What do y'all think about it? Um, let me know what you think about this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it and I'll continue to do these videos. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. And once you subscribe, click the little bell so that I can know that you are, uh, so that you can be notified for my future uploads. Also, announcement time. Uh, once I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to launch a giveaway. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you get your friends to subscribe, share my videos, please, please, please. So that's it for Friday's makeup tutorial and I will see you back here on Sunday with Subscription Box Sunday. See y'all later.